Welcome back, Herd County, to the final episode of BG Time. I'm Drew. And I'm Gavin. And we're excited to be back for this last episode. We hope it's a good one. Coach Porter started off going around nationwide, I heard, is a gas crisis. It's, it's hitting Herd County pretty hard. I know some of the students are, are not, not getting gas. And, and we're really trying to finish the school year here. And, and not having gas, that could be kind of the struggle. But, you know, honestly, in my opinion, I'm ready to get back to this horse and carriage day. So, Coach Porter, give me your opinion on not having gas right now. Uh, well, thankfully, I'm on a pretty set schedule. I get gas every Sunday. My truck will hold just enough for one school week without any crazy trips, of course. So it hasn't affected me yet. I will say I went to the marathon yesterday, and there was about eight cars in each line, so it looked pretty chaotic. Uh, I just hope people calm down and realize that gas will be coming back. Don't freak out too much. Um, but, yeah, I know there's, like, my girlfriend. She works in Atlanta. Um, I mean, there's been some chaos in the big cities, some fist fights in the parking lot from what I've heard. Yes. Do, do you think we could go back to horses and carriage? Uh, I think it's an option. I'm not going to say it's probably the, uh, the best option. I mean, it, it'd be better than it was in the old days because we have paved roads now. Like, Yeah. I mean, you know, it'd take a little while to get to school, and on those rainy days, stormy days, it could be a little bit of a struggle. But in the parking lot might be an issue with horses sitting uh, everywhere. I know, but you got to feed them and watch out for where they poop and stuff. But, I mean, hey. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, again, if we keep if we keep having gas issue, maybe we'll yeah. look into it. I, I would say we're probably still a little ways from that I think right we're still now. okay. Um, so next topic, Drew. I know something that I love a lot, as you can see right here, big golf guy. Uh, I know you've kind of started dipping your toes into the golfing waters. I know I've heard of uh, Coach Kerbo. I know he's a big golf guy. Uh, Noah, Bo, um, a, a lot of golfers around school. Shelby Older, I know she's a, a very good golfer. Give us a little bit about golf in general. How's your career starting off? I mean, is that maybe a secondary plan after you're done with the Bulls? What are your, what are your thoughts there? Well, it started off as just having fun, Coach Porter. You know, all, all the baseball guys, it started off as having fun. But then I got to start taking it a little serious. And it's kind of became, I've kind of became addicted to it now. And some say, you know, I heard some golfers at, at – Last time you played with me too, I heard some some golfers at the course. You know, they compare me to the, a Tiger Woods or Jack Nicklaus of the 21st century. A younger Tiger Woods. That's a young, right. younger Tiger Woods, not Tiger Woods now. Right, right. But you know, I, I like their compliments, but I don't want to be held behind those limits. I'm way past Jack yeah. Nicklaus and Tiger Woods. So you can't put a label on greatness. I know, like it, it can get scary when you're legendary. That's all I got to say on my golf game. I mean, that's a good quote. It can get scary when you're legendary. But, you know, I think my golf game is definitely on the on the rise. Uh, you came out there and saw me play. I mean, it's phenomenal. I mean, there's no one better. Right. And it's surely getting even better than it is. And, and it's only only up from here goes for it. So, next topic for you, Drew. And some, kind of more of a conversation piece, I guess. Um, looking back on the school year, coming to an end, we got, let's see, like eight days left. And our seniors don't have that many. But for the rest of us, we got about eight days left. Looking back on the school year, what are some of the most memorable moments of the school year for you? What are some things that pop out to you? I mean, like, like I said, we got to go to the state championship softball. From that to Tropical Fridays, you know, you, you and Coach Bianco, I think y'all were the ones that started that Tropical Friday. No, I'll, I can't take all credit. Now, that was a, it had a lot of Coach Sproul and Coach Shellnut as well, Coach okay. Napier. I was kind of just riding coattails on that one, but it was a it was an absolute wave. And I don't know if you've heard, but he, uh, I know Jacob Vincent said the other day, Tropical Friday is making its last return this Friday. Right. So, Tropical Friday, dress up, throw on your uh, tropical shirts and show up. Um, what about, I mean, and obviously on a different note, is in memorable, the tornado, I would say, was a, a very memorable time. It swept through Heard County, and, and it really hurt a lot of people. Um, but I think it, it made us a little, a little stronger, honestly. In closer the, in the community. community. Closer as a community. You've never wanted to help the person more beside you than when you see something bad happen to them, and you're sitting over here fine. Like, I, I go back to Shane Laster being one of the, his house gets, gets hit. And you see him on the street helping other people. Yeah. You know, time and time again, he's came through. And that's just the type of community that we, we show here at, here at Heard County. So I love to see it. And, you know, as bad as it was, I think there were some positives that came out of it. Absolutely. Positive out of every You can always find the positives. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Going, uh, going to, to a, a crowd favorite, the lightning round. Okay, bringing it back for the last time, the lightning round. I'll, I'll start off asking you. Um, so summer coming up. Quick thought, best summer vacation spot, go. I'm going to go out on a limb right here, Coach Porter. I think that my best vacation summer spot has got to be in the about 300 miles out into the Atlantic Ocean, dead spot, deep water, can't touch the bottom for miles. you got to go down for miles to touch the bottom. I want to sit in the water, no boat, no boat, 
on a cool September night about no boat. No boat. Three hundred miles out with no yeah. boat. Just gonna tread some water. Tread some water. Uh, get a little bit of workout into, and then um, you might coast on my back a little bit, uh, lay in the water. But on a cool September night, about ten twenty at night, that gives me a few hours until the sun rises, um, where I ain't gotta see see any people. Uh, you know, it's very secluded out there. So <laughs> yeah, three hundred miles out. I mean, right? I've been to this vacation spot a few times, quite a few times. And you always liked it. And I always liked it. It's made me a better swimmer. It's taught me how to how to live on my own. Taught you how to fight sharks. It's taught me how to catch fish with my bare hand and just, just eat them raw. I mean, I've really become a professional outdoorsman from being in this secluded vacation spot. I've never been there, but I'll uh, look into it this summer maybe. Oh, well, you should. Moving on to the <laughs> and you can get a little distraught by that. <laughs> that, answer that was weird. <laughs> Moving on to the next lightning round topic. Uh, what is the best feel good song? And w would you mind singing it for me? <clears throat> Best feel good song. Um, I like a group known now as the Chicks. Me and Coach Brown listen to this one a lot in the summer with their top with the uh, top off the off the Jeep, and Coach Brown's letting his hair flow. Oh. The song is "Wide Open Spaces." <clears throat> uh, let's see. Wide open spaces has room to make a big mistake. She needs. New faces, she knows the highest things, she knows the highest things, she knows the highest things. That's a feel good song. If that, if that was into the show, we'd end it right there. But it's not. It's not. More it's lightning round coming. <laughs> Drew, next topic. Ducks on trucks. Thoughts. A few days ago, uh, I saw Noah Can Trump pull into the, the parking lot in his truck, and there was a, a rubber ducky sitting on the top of his antenna. And I was like, that's a great idea. You see some trucks with tennis balls and the, the you know, the big long, whatever they are, sticking out the back, big long <laughs> tennis balls. But never have I seen rubber duckies sitting on the antenna. So next thing you know, a few days pass, and we've got kids all over the parking lot with ducks on their, on their trucks, ducks on their cars. And uh, I don't know if any, if any of y'all see the Adventures of Big Cat Snapchat story, but I posted the, the, the duck crew down at the weight room yesterday, all the cars parked beside each other, and each one had a duck. Uh, that's, that's nice to see right there, that we have people coming together just through the power of ducks. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that sounds electric. It definitely is. Coach, we're moving on. The vastness and never-ending expanse of the universe. This is a topic that I'm very uh, excited to talk about. So they talk about the universe is always expanding and getting bigger. But for something to get bigger, it must grow into something. If, if I'm getting fatter, it's because my belly's filling up more room. Right. So there was something there before my belly was there. So if the universe is constantly getting bigger, but there's nothing outside of the universe, how's it getting bigger? What's this expanding into? That doesn't make any sense. I've been down many of Google black holes trying to figure out this answer, and I can't figure it out. It blows my mind. I'll get back to you when I get more information. Are these the things that keep you up at night, Coach Porter? One of the many, yes. I know you have, have to take some sleeping medicine because there are just unknown answers to the world that you, you just stress about every day. You're right. Drew, what do you think about pirates? I'm going to shift gears there, Coach Porter, on me up. Shift into pirates, Coach Porter. I've been known to be compared to a pirate. Why is that? Because I'm always trying to get the booty, eh? <laughs> Your beard looks kind of like a pirate beard. I mean, I'm going to start calling you Blackbeard. <laughs> I got some compliments on it this morning. Uh, you know, Did I you? just woke up and it was fuller, darker. It looks I mean, good, man. Looks I, good. I appreciate that, Coach Porter. Now, Coach Porter, this is a more deep topic right here. What is love? What is love, love? Baby, don't hurt me, don't hurt me no more. That's it. That's what love is. That is love. I don't think there's any other way to describe it. All right, so, Drew, this is kind of a new round, last round. Um, what, what do we talk about a lot? Why do we do this show? For the people. For the people. So, kind of this last round, kind of like a lightning round almost. Last time ever, we're going to... Kind of do a lightning round, but we're going to give each other people's names here from the high school and, and just want to hear some thoughts on a remind of what makes Herd County so special, what makes the people around us so special. Um, I'll let you start it off. Coach Porter, Jacob Mims. Jacob Mims, man, love the kid. Got him in third block math. Um, 
one of the most genuine happy people I've ever been around. Constantly a smile uh, and just an awesome young man. He's always laughing. He's always cutting up and making people around him laugh. Love Jacob Mims. Um, Drew, co-host Aiden Boyd. Been my co-host for this whole year, but been a friend longer than this year. Man, I had, had met him in middle school playing baseball. And at first, you, Aiden, you, you get a weird vibe from Aiden on how, how you want to take him as a friend. But man, when, when you have a friend like Aiden, every baseball game that ever came down to where it was a tough loss, he's the last one out wanting to make sure I get home safe. He takes text me when you get home and wanting to check on me anytime something went wrong after my first bad start this year. He texted me and said, hey man, you're fine, uh, we'll, be, we'll be okay. Just an overall great teammate, but an even better person. Big heart. Yeah. And Aiden Boyd, no doubt. Coach Porter, Katie Levins. Man, Katie Levins. Uh, I had Katie first time in the seventh grade, and I'm pretty sure Katie Levins hated my guts back then. I know it's probably hard for you to believe. Um, have her again this year, first block. She is awesome, unbelievable young lady. So, so uh, a lot of growth. I know she just kills it in the math department with me. Um, also, I know she's a cheerleader, and I know she's had some knee injuries too, but man, awesome young lady. Somebody that is absolutely somebody I look forward to being around every day at school. One of, one of the great kids of Hurd County High School. Um, Drew, what about Noah Cantrell? Man, I uh, met Noah in FCA a few years back. Um, him teaching FCA, and really a great guy. I know his whole family. Spent a lot of time with him. He's one of my golfing, golfing teammates now. We play play a lot together. Uh, man, what a, like I said about you, what a great teammate, but an even better person. You, He's some guy you can call on if you ever need something. He's a great student from what I hear. Just a, a really great all-around guy. Like, my brother's the best guy I've ever met, you know, all around. But, but Noah Contrell's a close second. He's, he's, he's in that next he's, group he's right in, there. Yeah, he's in the next group right there. And I think that he's just continuing to, to grow. And you'll see his life on the rise here in the next few years when he goes off to college. And, and he'll big be, things, big things ahead be of successful him. whatever he does. Well, Drew, uh, coming to an end, brother. Last episode ever. You got big things ahead of you. I hope every one of you have big things ahead of you. You know, we love you. Yeah, Drew, we've, we've done it with this. Y'all are the reason we've done this every week. The uh, inspiration for the show. It started off as an interview and y'all loved it. And each and every week y'all have come in and, and said, hey, this is what we want. Me and Coach Porter have tried to make it happen and put a smile every week. That's all, what, all we've done is tried to put a smile on everybody's face each and every week. And we just never wanted this show to end. And, and I hate to see it, you know, in, in this soon. But, um, man, Coach Porter, I hope when I come back, that um, we're still teaching together and we can start back doing this show. VNG time, and teacher version. Hopefully we put on some 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 kids. Hey, we want to we be a part of that. And that'd be something. That'd be awesome to see kids come together like that. And I uh, hope we brought y'all closer together as a community and as a school. One last time. That's, that's it. That's a wrap. Love you guys. Go, Go Braves. Horns up. I'm hopeful. Yes, I am. Hopeful for today. Take this music and use it. Let it take you away and be hopeful, hopeful, and he'll make a way. I know it ain't easy, but that's okay, cause we hopeful. I wish that you could show some love instead of hating so much when you see some other people coming up. I wish I could teach the world a scene, write some music and have them tripping off the joy I bring. I wish that we can hold hands, listen instead of dissing lessons from a grown man. And I wish the families that lack, but got love.